We begin tonight with breaking news at 6.30. You are looking live outside the Seattle Police East Precinct, just one of the places we have tracked protests at times destructive in Seattle over the past couple of hours tonight. We have team coverage for you tonight with crews both downtown and on Capitol Hill. Seattle Police say their East Precinct there on 12th and Pine was targeted. And only on Cairo 7, we take you inside that damaged precinct. Our Michael Spears is there live. And Michael, we are talking about broken windows and a fire there. You can see behind us here, officers are starting to clean up and happened fairly recently. Protesters moving through this area. Police say they left a trail of destruction across this neighborhood, Capitol Hill. So as you look live, that's what police are doing right now, cleaning up. Investigators say someone did throw a device inside that ignited and caused it a fire inside of the lobby. Luckily, no officers were hurt, but it is a mess. We do have some new video to show you inside from earlier, uh, closer to when this happened. We've been following this across this neighborhood, Capitol Hill neighborhood, a path of destruction, as I noted. We stopped by the Amazon Go store. There was damage there. And as we play, as I talked, we'll play through some of this video. There was also damage at a nearby Walgreens, also at a Starbucks off of Broadway and Pine as well. Pike, excuse me. When we heard from police, they mentioned that there's not only reports of property damage, but uh, reports of looting as well. When we stopped by the Walgreens, we did uh, see a security guard walk up as folks were inside of the Walgreens, and then he were he was pushing people back. We did go and talk to him about how many people may have been inside the store. He didn't have that at that point, but did confirm the store was looted. So this is what we're seeing play out across Capitol Hill this afternoon with demonstrators taking to the streets. We did see those demonstrators as we look live inside of the precinct move towards uh, Cal Anderson Park within the last hour. Uh, these are demonstrators who are not happy to see TV cameras. In fact, they ran up with their umbrellas telling us that we cannot show them and to back up. So. You can feel the aggression when we're out seeing these protesters. We know that this is all anti-ICE demonstration in this area, but a lot of hostility. And as you can see, a lot of damage in the wake here. Again, a device, police say, was thrown into the lobby here. In addition to the smashed windows, it did ignite, but no one was hurt. Uh, but a lot of damage left to clean up. And as we all know, this is in the former CHOP zone. So this is a very uh, um, area where high tensions have traditionally been for the last couple of weeks at the end of May. And as we see this afternoon continues here. So we're going to step away, catch some of the cleanup. We do know Seattle police are coming here to talk to us, to update us. We'll ask about questions regarding some other property damage that we also saw downtown. And when we have that update, we'll bring it to you live. For now, we're live in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News. All right, thank you, Michael. And those protests against immigrations and customs enforcement started in downtown Seattle at Westlake Park and marched through the streets of downtown before heading to Capitol Hill. Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is tracking some of the damage left behind near the West Precinct, where two people were arrested. Deborah. In fact, Lindsay, you can see behind me just a little bit of the debris that shows that someone was here. But come across 8th Avenue with me and you will see the graffiti. And there is plenty of it. Some of it so profane we can't show it to you. This is the way protesters left 8th Avenue across from the West Precinct. Graffiti scrawled on just about every surface, including the letters that spell ICE for the federal agency that controls immigration. This woman says she saw it all go down. I think they came up 8th this way, and then they're sort of circling around here, and then the police came out and, you know, they started throwing flashbangs. Some people got pepper sprayed. No, the usual. Seattle police tweeted that they were responding to protesters throwing several items at them, including rocks and bottles. One officer was hurt. This man could hear the confrontation from his apartment and came downstairs to see it for himself. Well, there was another set of pops and explosions and people running, and that was about it. So, yeah. Well, what do you think about this? Well, everybody has a right to express themselves, but not at the peril or uh, of, for anyone or any damage to property. But Audrey Daniel believes even the businesses being tagged is a reaction to the actions of Seattle police. I don't know what happened there, but I do know that the police were involved over there and they were blocking that building. And you know, the police always make the first move and the police are the ones with the weapons. Back here live, Seattle police tell us that this is not a sign of peaceful protest, that it is a criminal act. As we said, there have been two people, at least according to the Seattle police who tweeted it, two people arrested. The protesters have moved on, but of course now someone else will have to clean up the mess. Reporting live here in downtown Seattle, 
Deborah Horn, Carol 7 News. Thank you, Deborah. And more images of the destruction are coming into our newsroom tonight. Take a look at all the damage to the municipal courthouse on Fifth Avenue in Seattle. You can see a line of shattered windows and also graffiti in another photo that we are about to show you, I believe, here. Uh, Cairo 7 will continue following today's protest and its aftermath. You can better see the graffiti and vandalism there. You can get the latest between newscasts at Cairo7.com and also on our mobile news app.